Hi everyone, I'm Stan Mallow, the Paranormal Yakker. My guest in today's show is ET experiencer and UFO researcher Ella LeBain, author of the six-part series, Who's Who in the Cosmic Zoo. I'll be talking with Ella about the expanded and revised fourth edition of book one in the series. Ella LeBain, welcome to Paranormal Yakker. It's good to see you, Stan. Thank you for having me. At the beginning of our interview, I mentioned the expanded and a revised fourth edition of book one, Lays Bear the Truth, Behind Alien Abductions. What, Ella, is the truth behind alien abductions? It's a multi-layered answer, Stan. Uh, there's a confluence of things happening. And as you have my book, I also call them temporary kidnappings because the word abduction we use here on Earth like a child who gets abducted and maybe never gets seen again. But that's not the case with alien abductions because they put you back, like after just a few hours. It's not really kidnappings, call it for what it is. So what? there's multiple abduction programs. There's the alien hybridization program where they are using eggs and sperm and skin grafts from humans, men and women, that they are taking that and just like in the ancient Sumerian texts, mixing it like almost like a test tube baby and then implanting it into maybe even a different female. Just because the female is being used as an incubator doesn't mean that those are her babies. She's just being used. Remember the container piece. So that's happening. And then there's implantation. We are souls having a human experience. If you want to program uh, humans to change society, to change culture, to even change religion, you have to somehow imprint and implant into them the idea to do so, so that they can create this alien agenda. Great invasions happen in secret. When people talk today about, oh, an alien invasion, like oh, it's the next shoot a drop after COVID and all that stuff, it's already happened. It's not something that's going to, like the, the reveal will happen, but this, we've already... The, the abductions have been going on for centuries. This is nothing new. My information, what I have been given, is that for years, in the 90s, people focused on physical implants because of Dr. Roger Lear, who was able to surgically remove implants out of people that were physical, that they could be detected under an x-ray and they could be surgically removed, which he did multiple times. And I know someone who had them surgically removed and then they came back. And I question, why is that? And the reason is because we have this etheric body. We are souls in human bodies. So the human body eventually will die. The soul will live on. And what our soul is, it's like an egg. And it's like seven layers. It's an etheric body. And they know how we're wired. So when they abduct our essence, our soul energy, because when people get abducted, their body, their physical body stays in the bed. And it's the spirit body and, and soul body that is getting abducted. They're doing whatever they're doing. And one of the things they're doing is implanting. I saw this implant. This is where, why I believe what I believe about the religious spirit and is a counterfeit to the Holy Spirit is because they were implanted with this with these devices, and I call them spiritual limitation devices. And one of them I've seen, I've seen this with my own eyes, looks like a cruciform. And and this summer, the Mission Impossible, the new Mission Impossible film came out. I don't know if you saw it or if anyone has seen it, but the whole plot was to obtain this cruciform key. And they had two parts of it. They went, it, it, it kind of connects like that, it becomes a key that basically uh, was the key to this like nuclear submarine. And, and that was what the whole plot was. When I saw that, I went, wow. I mean, the symbolism was just because that's what I saw. The same shape in, that was implanted 
into the etheric body. And I'm writing about this in, in, in my next book. And this is a chapter on the, the religious spirit and the cruciform implant, which basically keeps people from realizing their true potential, uh, connecting with God, ascending even, that these are limitation devices. So during the abduction experience, and that's not the only one, and that's just one that I'm highlighting for you, they put stuff into people. And so what I have presented in, in the fourth edition is the research that comes from the doctors, uh, which can't really be disputed because it's data. So Dr. David Jacobs, Dr. John Mack, uh, Barbara Bartolik, uh, who's passed on now. John Mack is also passed on. David Jacobs is still alive. And all of their research, because people came to them, they were abductees. Why did they have so many thousands of clients come to them for help if this wasn't a real thing? And there's a... 10% of Americans, this is what they say, cannot be put under hypnosis. I happen to be one of them. But all these other people went under hypnosis and they told them very similar things that are unrelated to these you know, people. They don't know each other. And they're both getting very similar stories, feelings, dealings with deep shame because the aliens uh, made them do stuff that went against their upbringing, uh, their religion, or who they felt that they were, sexual things. I have a, a chapter in the fourth edition about the manipulation, the reptilian manipulation of human sexuality. This is something that we're seeing now in our culture that began decades ago, but seems to be like this harvest of it right now, where it's even become policy. So in, in my opinion, this is part of an alien agenda, which is the ultimate replacement theology, is to replace us humans with their own you know, implanted, hybridized race. So for years, we were hearing they're doing these abductions, they're, they're creating hybrids so that they can replace humans that are more spacefaring. I published this in, in the fourth. This is in there, too, because uh, we fall apart in space. Our bodies can't really handle living in space for too long. So they figure, well, if they, if they put a piece of them and a piece of us, then we can create this new human. And this is all part of transhumanism. So where did we, us Earth humans, get the idea to do transhumanism? It's from them. Because that's exactly what is happening behind the scenes, you know, with the alien hybridization program. So nobody really knows. I don't know. I don't claim to know what new uh, race of alien human hybrids we're going to see. But we are going to see that something is going to come because they're, they're being raised off the planet or underground or on the moon, inside the moon. And we know that this is happening. We just don't know when that they're going to be revealed. And it could be at a time when there's like war and, and they want to replace us. I don't know for sure. I know what I know, what I don't know, what I don't know. So that's it. Should viewers of Paranormal Yakker want to buy the expanded and revised fourth edition of Who's Who in the Cosmic Zoo, book one, A Spiritual Guide to ETs, Aliens, Gods, and Angels, or any of the other books in this series. How can they do that? Well, thank you, Stan. You can go to my website, who's who in the cosmic zoo.com, or I'm on Amazon in worldwide channels. The books, all five books are available right now in a Kindle and paperback. And I think if you have the audio subscription, Description, you can probably get that on, uh, I know book two, you can get on audio. Hi everyone, this is Stan Mallow, the Paranormal Yakker. I hope you enjoyed the interview you just watched. So that you don't miss any upcoming shows, be sure to subscribe to my free YouTube channel. To do that, just press the subscribe button on your screen. I very much appreciate your support of my channel and thank you for subscribing to it. Bye.